As a new trader, one of the first things that you need to master is learning how to read price action. Now in today's video, I want to give you some tips. I want to show you how do you read price action like a pro. Okay, specifically, I'll be going through how does good price action look like? Okay, kind of like good with a uh, code. And how does a bad price action look like? This works irregardless of what trading strategy you use. You can be day trading, you can be swing trading, you can be position trading. It really doesn't matter because at its core, all trading strategies rely on price action. If you're looking at charts, you're doing technical analysis, then all strategies are based on price action. So it's very important that you nail down price action, you know how to read price action correctly. And that's the goal for today's video. I want to just show you how do you read price action, certain tips about what makes a price action good, meaning that it's something that you can trade off and what is a bad price action. So what will, what will you learn today? First, I want to explain to you why what I'm about to teach you isn't a trading strategy. This is very important. I do not want you to take uh, what I share out of context. So I really need you to understand that what I'm about to share with you isn't a full-blown trading strategy. It's just a way to read price action. Again, if you need a full-blown trading strategy, you need a step-by-step -step guide. We have a lot of videos on this channel. We also have a free day trading guide which teaches you the MPE's trading strategy. That is a full-blown strategy. But in today's video, this isn't a full-blown full strategy. So I will go into this and explain to you why this is so. Then I will show you the characteristics of the good price action versus the characteristics of the bad price action. Now, don't get me wrong, there's no such thing as really good or bad. It just depends on how you read it. But uh, in this case, I just classify as good as in something that you want to look for and bad as in something that you want to avoid trading. Then I'll go into examples of each to help you understand more about each of this kind of price action. And then lastly, I'll end off this video by showing you how do you actually incorporate this into your trading. Most traders get it wrong. They watch a video like this and after that, you know, they start applying uh, what I teach in the wrong context and then they start losing money and you know, they say that this doesn't work. So I want to help you avoid that pitfall. I want you to apply it correctly and not lose money. Okay, by the way, if you are new to this channel, please give us a thumbs up, right? We are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders. So, you know, if you help us to like this video, we'll hopefully hit more traders and we'll help transform uh, more struggling traders into profitable traders. Okay, that's our goal. At the same time, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We create a lot of videos such as this. So let's go into the first part of uh, today's video, which is why this price action isn't a trading strategy. The trading strategy requires actually five things, okay? This price action is kind of more like a technique of reading the market. As I mentioned earlier, you need to know how to read the market uh, in terms of price action, but this is only part of the equation, okay? If you have watched my other video about uh, the checklist, the five, five things that you, you need to check before entering a trade, I'll leave a link at the top right so you can check that out after this. But basically, the five things are, you know, you need to have uh, you need to identify the market condition. You need to identify key support and resistance level. You must have a price action trigger. You need to have an exit plan to get out when you're wrong and an exit plan to get out when you are right. That is what a trading strategy is. It has to at least have these five things. But in today's video, I'm not going to give you all five. I'm just only going to be focusing on the price action trigger. And it's very important that you understand this, that this is not a full-blown strategy, okay? This is just a price action trigger. You need to do the rest of the steps. Again, all this is covered in uh, the three-day trading guide. So if you know you, you are confused, you do not know how to do any of this, just get our three-day trading guide. It's free, there's no catch. So just go download it. The link is in the description. So let's move on. So let's talk about what is a good price action. So right here, I have the Kiwi dollar, New Zealand dollar. So a good price action is when you see price losing momentum as it approaches the key level. Okay, let me just uh, draw it for you. So you can see over here, price losing momentum as it approaches a key level. So in this case, we have a key level over here. Okay, the key level is uh, 0 0.64918. Okay, it's a key level because it's the pyro swing low. It's easy to see why it's a key support level. So notice how the price 
approach the level. You had a very nice sell down over here. You can see that uh, you have a very strong sell. But after the sell, rather than price, you know, breaking down stronger, you had a consolidation. You had a doji candle. Okay, so that's reflected by a constriction of price where price uh, you actually tighten up. You have a small body candle and you have the tightening of trading range. Now, this is a very good price action. It's, it's telling you that price is likely to reverse up because there is no momentum going into the level. Again, good is subjective because if you are selling, if you are selling, let's say you have sold, you, you have sold somewhere at the top here, then you want to get out. So it's not good as in, you know, like it, it really depends on your position, whether you have a trade, are you looking to enter? But uh, I just call it good because uh, these are the kind of uh, setups, you know, these are the kind of price action that you want to look for if you want to be buying off support. Just another gentle reminder, just remember that uh, you do not just want to look for good price action and start trading off it, okay? You need to do your full analysis. You need to understand the trend, your key levels, your market structure, all those stuff. You need to put everything together, not just look at the chart for this uh, good price action. So let me go through one more example for you. I have multiple examples. So let me just... So let's look at this other example. It's again, it's the Kiwi dollar. So over here, you can see that um, you have this very nice candle, this bullish candle that closed near the top. But rather than, you know, rather than price carry on to, you know, attack this level and break the level, what you see is actually the same thing as uh, the previous example. You see a constriction of price. Let me draw it for you over here. You can see that there's a constriction of price. You have three candles over here. You have three candles with very small body. And you can see that relative to this big candle over here, you can see that the trading range is smaller as well. So that is a sign that the market is exhausted and it has lost its momentum. So again, depending on your position as a trader, if you have not entered and you were looking for a signal to short, then this is a good sign. This is a good price action trigger to tell you that, okay, look, um, the buyers are exhausted. It is likely that it's going to be resisted. Again, if you, if you bought somewhere at the bottom and you, know, you need to get out with your profits and you see something like that, that is also a good sign for you that, okay, I should be locking in my profits or I should be tightening my stops because the uh, price is losing momentum. So again, I'm going to repeat, it's not a good price action. It just depends on where your position as a trader. Have you entered the trade? Have you not entered the trade? Okay, but for this video, I will just classify it as a good price action. So let's move on. Let me just clear this and let me show you what a bad price action is. So the bad price action is kind of like the opposite. What you see is that price is gaining momentum as it approaches the key levels. And what you see towards this level is you see big extended range candles. Let me just highlight it for you. This one over here. Can you see big extended range candle? So what do I mean by big extended range candle? That means that you see candles like this that close near the top. It, it can have a bit of an upper wick, but it's not very, it's not something like this. It's not a candle with very long, you know, long upper wick. Basically, you are looking for candles that close near the top. Okay, so in this case, I've highlighted this candle here. Let me just clear this up so that it's clearer for you. In this case, I have highlighted this candle over here, this candle here. You can see that this candle closed near the top. It, in fact, it, it almost have, you know, very little upper wick over here. You can see that, uh, you know, price didn't even have an upper wick. So this is an extended range candle heading into resistance. So in this case, what is this telling you? It's telling you that the buyers are not taking profit because there's no upper weight. There's no rejection of the level. And if you look at the other three subsequent candles over here, you can see that the candle range is still relatively wide. Okay. In fact, you see this, uh, this black um, candle over here. It's a full body candle. There is no weight. There's no upper weight or there's no lower weight. Okay. So this it's an example of bad price action, right? It's telling you that, okay, this resistance is probably going to be broken because 
the buyers are not taking profit. They are still holding on to their position. Okay, so this is the kind of price action that uh, if you are in a trade, you want to hold on to your positions. If you are not in a trade and you are looking to sell, then this is a bad sign for you. It's, called, it's, sign of, it's kind of like a bad price action for you because you do not want to be selling whenever you see this kind of price action. Okay, so it's the same like the good price action. Um, I just call it bad price action, but it really depends on uh, your position as a trader, uh, whether it's good for you or bad for you. But I just want you to understand the characteristics. I want you to understand how do you read price action. Okay, so one more example for you. We have an example here, same thing again. You can see that price is gaining bearish momentum as it approaches key level over here. Okay, let me just here. Sorry for that. Let me just uh, draw it over here. So you can see over here that price is gaining momentum. It closed at the bottom. Okay, again, uh, you do not see any lower wicks. You do not see any rejection. I've chosen this example because this example looks a bit like, you know, very similar to the good price action where after this, you see that there is so-called so, so a, you know, tightening of the range here also. But because of this candle over here where you have a very strong sell down into support and there is very little weak, I would cl classify this more as a bad price action. Okay, I could have chosen other examples, but I chose this example for a very specific reason. I want to show you that trading is not so simple. Sometimes you have gray areas such as this. You're not sure is this a good price action or is this, is this a bad price action? Because it can, you know, you could have read it as a good price action where after a big sell down, you have a, you know, you have a tightening of the range. Okay, but this example shows you that you cannot just rely on this price action technique to enter the trade. You need a step-by-step -step strategy, which I've mentioned earlier at the start of this video. I mentioned that you must have a way to identify the market direction and have your buyers even before you look for this kind of price action. This price action just tells you whether a level is likely to hold or break, but it doesn't give you the direction. It doesn't tell you, you know, are you in an uptrend? Are you in a downtrend? So you need to put everything together if you want to be trading, uh, you know, you want to be trading this price action technique. Okay, I won't call it a price action strategy. I'll call it more like a uh, understanding price action, you know, kind of like your basics of price action trading. Okay, so let's move on. Now I want to show you how do you incorporate this into your trading. Okay, I know I've been repeating this countless of times, but this price action trading, sorry for that, uh, sorry for that typo. This price action trading is not a trading strategy. Okay, so it doesn't tell you which direction the market is going to go. So please do not go into the charts and just start trading every single, you know, this kind of good patterns and bad patterns because that's not the way to do it. You're going to blow your account. There are two ways you can actually incorporate this into your trading. Number one is to use it as an entry trigger. So let's say you are using our free day trading guide and you've already done your anal analysis and your, your direction is that you wish to sell, right? You, you arrive at the decision that you wish to sell and you have a key level. So what you can do is you can wait patiently at the key level and see if price loses momentum at that level because you want to be selling, but you need the entry trigger. In the MPE strategy, which stands for market condition, price level, and an entry, uh, this forms the E, meaning that this will be your entry trigger. You want to see a loss of momentum at your level, and then you're just going to sell it down. That's how you use it. That's the first way. The second way is that you can use this to manage your trades. So what do I mean by this? I mean that let's say you have an existing position and you are in profits and price it's approaching a key level that you identified, but somehow you notice that price is not losing momentum as it approaches the level. Now you can use this price action, you know, technique to hold on to your trades because you, you, your, your reading of the market outlook or rather the market condition is that price is the momentum is still on your side. So therefore, you can hold on to the trade and try to catch the, the bigger move. Wait for the resistance to be broken and throw your stop loss for a bigger reward to risk trade. The converse is also true. If let's say you see that price is losing momentum, what you can do is you can start tightening your stop loss. You can lock in maybe half of your profits or you can even lock in 100% of your profits. It's totally up to you. But these are just some ideas as to how do you 
use this uh, price action technique into your trading. Okay, it's, it's really just to help you um, read price action in real time. It's not a strat strategy on its own. Okay, I did not discuss about entry criteria. I did not talk about uh, how do you manage your stop loss. Right, it's just to help you read price action in real time. Okay, so just a, just a recap. Let me just do a recap of today's lesson. Okay, I shared with you why uh, what I shared with you isn't a trading strategy and how you know you should be using it instead. Right, I ran through the characteristics of the good price action versus the bad price action. Okay, one of it is uh, you basically you have the price uh, constricting at a key level, showing that the range has tightened and that you know the price has lost momentum. In the bad price action scenario, you have price um, not losing momentum and it indicates that the level is likely to break. I also gave you examples of each of the following to help you identify them on, on the charts. And lastly, I end, ended off this entire lesson with how do you actually incorporate this into your trading. Most traders get it wrong. They just go into the charts and start identifying good and bad price action. Please do not do that, right? This, this video, I've made it very clear that you want to combine this with an existing trading strategy. It could be your own trading strategy. You could just implement it as part of your trade management. But please do not just apply this you know, blindly and look at the charts and start looking at every single price action, good price action, bad price action, and trading off it. So hopefully that is crystal clear. right? If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below. We love to help you. Just let us know what, what you struggle with. It doesn't have to be related to this um, video. Okay, we're going to um, link to other videos that are relevant to this as well. If you need a full-blown strategy, we have the free day trading guide for you. So make sure you check that out as well. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.